the concept of nodal analysis is applicable to a problem irrespective of any reference point. So let's take a numerical to elaborate this concept. So I'm having only one voltage source of 80 volt and remaining branches consist of resistances only 10 ohm, 50, this is 60 ohm, one more 50 ohm resistance and 10 ohm resistance once again. Objective is to get current flowing through 60 ohm resistance using nodal analysis. If I select a proper reference point, then I can say I can reduce one equation directly. Meaning, if I consider this as node A and this as a reference, I can get between node A and reference, I am having 80 voltage. So, VA equal to 80 will be equation number 1. But hold on, because here we are going to elaborate the concept of super node. So, purposefully, I am not taking this as a reference. I will take this as A, having a potential VA. Then, instead of taking a reference, I will consider this as B point, having a potential VB. Let's take this as C with potential VC, and I will take this as a reference point with potential 0. Now, here, between points A and B, or I should say nodes A and C, I am having a voltage source. So, I can write equation of voltage source VA minus VB equal to 80. Because positive polarity at A side while negative is B side, so VA minus VB is 80. This is equation number 1. Once I have written an equation of voltage source, I need to consider a super node. To see how I am considering a super node. You have to assume as if a voltage source is not there, means it is short circuited. So I will consider the circuit I am considering this as short circuit and remaining branches as it is. My objective is analyzing node form because of A and B. So this is a super node. Let's mark all branch currents. In fact, in original circuit, we have not marked. So let's mark that also. So I'm considering random directions of current flowing through resistances. Now, at node A, I'm having two branches connected and current directions for both of them are outgoing. So one branch is having resistance 10 ohm and another branch is having resistance 50 ohm. This is VC. Now at B, I am having two branches. Out of that, one is incoming current for 50 ohm and for 10 ohm, it is outgoing current. This is a reference point. Now let's apply KCL to super node. So super node is formed because of two nodes A and B. So I have to apply combined KCL for this node. Meaning at this node, I am having one, two, three, four branches connected. And if I consider this as a one node, one, two, three are outgoing branches and one is incoming branch. So I will write the equation for those branches. I will get. VA minus VB equal to 
minus 0 divided by 50 plus VA minus VC divided by 10 plus VB minus 0 divided by 10 equal to one incoming current branch and that is VC minus VB divided by 50. Now I will rearrange the terms. So all VA together 1 by 50 plus 1 by 10 is a coefficient for VB it is 1 by 10 plus 1 by 50 and for VC it is minus 1 by 10 minus 1 by 50 equal to 0 because no current source is present not even a voltage source present so I will consider this as equation number 2 so equation number 2 is a result of considering combination of two nodes and applying KCL simultaneously now let's apply KCL to node C so node C so let's go back to the original circuit this is node C and at node C I am having this incoming current and these two outgoing currents so let's write the equation for incoming current it will be VA minus VC divided by 10 equal to outgoing currents VC minus VB divided by 50 plus VC minus 0 divided by 60. Let's rearrange the term. So VA coefficient is 1 by 10, VB coefficient is 1 by 50 and for VC coefficient is minus 1 by 10, minus 1 by 50, minus 1 by 60 equal to 0 equation number 3. Now I got three equations, three unknown, solving them. I will get VA equal to 60.8696 volt VB minus 19.1304 volt and BC I will get 41.7391 volt objective is to get current flowing through 60 ohm resistance which is BC minus 0 divided by 60 so I can write Vc minus 0 divided by 60. If I substitute the value of Vc, I will get answer 0 0.6957 ampere. And I am getting a positive answer. That means whatever direction I have assumed for this 60 ohm current is same. So here it is downward. This problem focuses on whether you can select any reference node, still you may be land up at a super node, but proper application of KCL and knowing the concept of super node, ultimately you will get a right answer. In subsequent videos, you will solve a numerical based on this concept. Thank you.